Did you know that if you have lights from the top shining down on you without any coming from the front, it makes the bags on your eyes look enormous? I learned that from another YouTuber. <laughs> One of the things that I was working on is trying to figure out how to get the surface of my tabletops completely clean and get rid of the scale. And a lot of the forums on the internet says muriatic acid, but I don't want to be using anything that caustic or nasty, so I looked for alternatives. And one guy suggested using distilled vinegar. And I gave it a test, and this is what the part comes out. You can see it's not like this in the vinegar, and there's a nice crisp line where the vinegar ate away all the scale and the rest of it still has paint and is currently rusting. Um, but the vinegar, that part isn't really rusting much. It has a little bit of surface rust, but this stuff worked great. So the next issue was doing a big flat surface like the tabletop, because if you pour it on, it's just gonna run off the edges. So I did a little bit of experimenting and I came out with something that worked really well. It cut down on the mess a little bit. It was still messy, but it came out with a great finish. So I'm gonna share that with you. Basically all I did is I took the distilled vinegar and I added cornstarch. The mix is about 50-50 per volume. Um, just pour some in, mix it evenly. It'll become a paste and then spread it on over. You'll need a lot to cover the entire surface. One of the things I'm gonna do a little bit different on the second table, I'm gonna run some tape around the edge and kind of help keep it in the table instead of running off the end. Even though it's thick, um, it is a little bit runny and it will run off the edge. So the tape is there to just kind of help hold those little parts that do run, run off. That's why I went around and grounded all the edges so they're all smooth. So we're gonna tip up the table, we're gonna mix up some vinegar and some cornstarch, and I'm gonna set a time lapse and we're gonna wait about four hours and then I'll check in and show you what to do after you've let it all set. Um, the transformation is amazing and I can't wait to show you. <music> It has been four hours and the table behind me is done and ready for the next step. Um, this is exactly what the other table looked like when it was done after four hours. So now we have to scrape all of this off into a bucket and discard it. And then the last step is to 
I forget what I did. I might have just had to wipe it off. Um, or I might have had to get like scotch Bright and help scuff it off. But by the end of it, it should have just a nice metal sheen without any of the scale on it. So I'm going to put the camera back up on its stand and dispose of all of this wonderful, wonderful mess. <laughs> One other quick note, um, the tape around the edges worked amazing. After I taped it, I went around with a piece of wood and kind of like really pressed the tape onto the metal. And there is only one drop that came through. Yeah, it looks like there's only one drop that came through the tape itself. And then there's a little splatter that I did when I was mixing everything up. So I think I forgot to hit record. I'm scraping all of that stuff off, which sucks because it was really gross and it was really fun to watch. But I basically, basically used one of these spackle knives, scraped it off into the trash can. I'm sorry you missed that. So the last thing I did was put a layer of oil, just regular motor oil, it's like 10W40 or 10W50 or something on it, um, and just rub it in with a piece of um, paper towel and then just continue to wipe it off until you really can't feel it. That's what I've been doing on the other one and that has been great rust protection. Um, so I do reapply it every now and then, um, but it gives a wonderful finish to finish it, just a lot of acetone, a lot of water, a lot of scrubbing. I did use a scotch Bright pad, and then once I got most of that off, I switched to a sander and used 80 grit sandpaper and sand that down to this nice kind of pattern on it, and then I applied the oil. So that is my tip for removing scale off of large flat sheets of steel, especially ones for a tabletop or any kind of work if you want to do this before you start hand cutting it or anything. It's a great process. It takes a little bit of time, but it's just distilled white vinegar with a little bit of cornstarch and it works great. Um, again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>